back and for this tutorial we're going to alter a um, file folder and these are some file folders that I had from when I had my shop and I've cut them and I have made some tabs on some of them like this one I use my we are memory keeper tab punch I've coffee dyed them and I found that tea dyeing is not the best thing I don't like tea dyeing so I've used my instant coffee and I've also found that when you're you're doing any type of dyeing it's always better I think my personal preference and it's always a personal preference if the coffee or the tea is cold for some reason uh, the saturation the results are a lot better I don't know but it's just a personal preference I have baked these and as you can see it's kind of crisp and you can iron these I like the uniqueness of it being all crumbled up like that so I think that just gives it more character so I choose not to iron it but you can iron it and um, when you iron it and if it's a little damp I've, I found that you get really nice more burnt crisp rusty look on it and that is about the only reason why I would iron um, you always want to use an old iron but I you know I like this kind of look like this right now so I'm going to be using I did this one there's tons of tutorials out there guys for these um, and I've been inspired in the junk journal junkies etc that is run by Kelly Snow so I've seen all kinds of beautiful stuff and this one here I kind of just added this is a cover to a recipe book and I just covered it up with some random crazy stitching because you guys know I'm not a seamstress and so I use some bits and pieces of scraps this is um, scraps actually that I put onto a piece of um, trim and then here's the fray pieces that are left over I love those because it gives it nice character this is a Tim Holtz um, chipboard words and of course here's something that young Sue had given me or gifted to me and these images are from Tsunami Rose so you'll have to check her out and of course more um, scraps of canvas and muslin that I have laying around and again there I used the fray pieces for that and I like the randomness of various stitching so I kinda went crazy on my stitching so that's that and for this one though we're gonna do it just a little bit different I had this one um, already sewn on the stitches as, as you can see didn't go too crazy on these stitches but we're gonna go what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece here and I've cut it you're gonna measure your um, your folder and mine is five and seven eighths so you're always going to want to double check your folder and I did a four inch um, piece of paper and then I scored it at one inch and that's going to be like a little flap for this and then I got some random pieces of laces and I'm going to use also probably to cover that up I do like the funkiness of the eggs there it gives it nice character but I think I'm going to probably cover it with some lace I don't know it might be the see-through lace or just a layered you know I'm gonna probably layer it both I don't know I don't know well we'll get to that point when, once we get there right so I just kind of brought them out just in case the first thing you're gonna do is of course you're gonna take this and you're gonna round your edges and I'm gonna run um, a stitch around the pocket flap and then I'm going to attach that like so and I'm going to use um, some glue stick so that I can run it through my sewing machine and I prefer the glue stick um, it's almost like the fabric glue that you would use because it's not going to clog up my needle as bad so once I have it stitched then I'll come in and I will glue it to the back and then I will run another stitch and sew that and then I will go through and sew this so we'll be back for that okay so we have attached the um, the flap onto the pocket file and I did some crazy random stitches as you can see and I went ahead and I'm going to leave these staggering 
pieces of thread haven't quite decided I'm going to cut them off or not but I went sold first this then I sold and attached this and I went around the edges just like so so that's that this is a Tim Holtz this is from the Tim Holtz wallflower collection and I cut this one out I thought it'd be nice to go with the theme of the eggs here and then I have this coffee dyed wax paper and I thought it looks really vintage enough that we can throw this in to give it a really nice unique look as well so that's what we're going to probably play, be playing with I have on my desk all the goodies that I distress to work with this so that we can add more good stuff and this is from a hymn book and I have some doilies I have coffee and tea dyed as well. I think I find one that's more burnt. I like the burnt look, guys. I'm going to use that because we're not going to use a whole piece. Okay, so we can see that. That'll hide. No one's going to see that that's torn up, right? Top secret. Top secret stuff, guys. So we can even go something like that. So now it's a matter of figuring out what we're going to do. And we're going to use Tim Holtz Vintage Photos ink. And I'm going to go ahead and distress this. Well, let me go get my other. I like my other blending brush, but this was on my desk. So. I don't like this, using this one because it starts to break apart. And really don't need to distress my coffee dye because it's already distressed enough. Move this one out. I'll probably be tearing some of these up. I wonder if I can leave something like that. I think I like that. Use that for something else. So it's not like a collage that you're going to be working on on this and sort of like to be able to leave that out and let's see what we can do with a piece of this wax paper. I did it. And I like that. I do. So got nice composition I think in my eyes it's got really good composition and I really don't mind it sticking out it just gives it more uniqueness and then we could probably I like that composition. See, I got the wax paper music notes, and then I have Forever with the Lord, which is very significant in my life right about now. And I love the way it's flowing. So 
I'm thinking this is how I want it. Um, again, it's all about how you feel comfortable with it. And I feel comfortable with this. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of lift and glue. Lift and glue. And I'm using... Um, glue sticks this works for me right now and then I can go in and do some random stitches if I want um, to glue it down more I try to hold it in place as I'm working with it so I don't lose position of what I had And I really want the, you know, forever with the Lord. That is very significant in my life right about now. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to run this real quick um, to the sewing machine. I want to give it a couple little stitches just to lock it in place, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I have it all sewn around in various pieces and sections there. And then once I have the, um, the piece however I want it, I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down like so. Right there. And we're going to use probably some wet glue. And I do have some fabric tack. Just it gets so clumpy. Clean this up a little. I'll glue this one down first. And you can smooth this out with your finger if you want, if you don't want it. I just hate glue on my fingers. Don't like it. I don't like that feeling, guys. It's not for me. So in this point, I really like the, the focus right here for my attention is forever with the Lord. And that's a really good focal point right there. And then make sure that this does not overshadow that. And make sure my threads are out because I like that thread look. I always try to go around the stitching, cover that as well. And then my brayer. Get any oozing out, just grab your baby wipes or wait till it dries up and grab your little um, adhesive beeswax or something and just kind of burnish it off. Okay, that's good. And the good thing with the fabric tack, it does kind of roll off.
All right. So the next thing that we're going to do, or I'm going to do, is I have some stamps that I got from Young Sue, and I might do some stamping, but then I have to decide what am I going to do about this here. Um, let me make sure I cover my fabric tag, guys, and let's get my vintage photos. I'm going to go ahead and distress this here because I had not done so. Although that's going to be covered probably in case I decide not to cover it. I'm just distressing it. Folder kind of brush that down. So we can go like that, leave it like that if you want, but um, I'm going to go a little bit extra. And I am going to, I like this. And I can leave that like that, leave the stitching be shown, and maybe just do something like that. Um, do I want to? I mean, we could leave it like that. Let's see. Do I want to? Do I want to do that? Or do I want to maybe go this route? Oh, yeah, we can do this route. And that way you can see still some of the eggs. And then what I could do is grab another trim and edge it. That's, that's, that's not the appropriate term. That's not it. Let's look for something along the lines that would fit for that. And I'm just going to look for some random trims here. Okay, so I have this one that I have coffee dyed. And we can probably use that. That is pretty neat. And then we have this, and we can put that on top. And I like that look. I really like that look. So I am comfortable with that. And that's just, you know, that's what I am. <laughs> so I'm going to attach this and we'll trim some of this off. Didn't take too long for me to figure it out, right? probably think, oh, she had to figure it out already. No, I didn't actually. I didn't. All right. I'm going to trim some of this off. And again, we're going to save any scraps that I cut. I save it for other projects. Because this is fraying stuff. It makes really nice fibers for your projects. So we're going to do that. We're going to use our fabric tack that I've put flipped upside down here. So clumpy. And then, since it's still a little wet, we can go ahead and then let me see which is the right side, which is the wrong side. This is the right side. And we can probably use some of that clumpy, undried. Fabri tack and attach this one. Let's see if it. Might have to. I think looks like looks like it's taken. Since it's um like a mesh, bleeds through. So you have enough of that wiggle room that you can do this with. Okay. 
thought we can use this for the little flap here. So we're going to use that there. And then for here, we can use this one like so. And I can use the glue gun for that. And these are my 49 cents scissors from Hobby Lobby that I grabbed the other day and they're working great for these projects. So like it, like it, like it, like, like, likey, likey. Affordable. It is awesome when you can buy something for 49 cents and not go bad with it, right? Okay, so I thought we can do this here. And that way I can add probably a piece of Velcro on the other side and then, you know, do something like that. Or if I had been smart enough, I could have put a piece of, um, I have these magnets and I have the link below. These are just so awesome. I had to show you before I forget. Had I been smart, I would have attached, wasn't smart. I wasn't eating my Wheaties this morning. I kid you not, these things are, are strong. Oh, watch this. Look, look at that. <laughs> Funny, it's elevate, elevating. Not ele is that say right? And I said that right? I don't know. Levitating. Look at that. Whoa, I think it's powerful. Look. So there's a link below as to where you can find these. These are awesome. And it came with this cute little case and the little ladybug. So had I been smart, I would have put a piece of that underneath and that way it would attach to this. Um, I wasn't thinking at the time. So, but that's okay because, 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 because I found this on my stash of stuff of before I got rid of things. And I thought, you know, I can make a crazy little bow pretty little bow on the corner just like so and it could be rolled off you don't have to untie it all the time you can just you know pull it off like that and then attach it back on like so so I like that as an alternative for why I didn't have the brains enough to attach my piece of magnet before I did that. So we are going to go ahead and attach this before I keep talking myself out of this. I'm sorry, I got a ding ding. Touch up there. And my coffee died. This is just an extra piece of a tram. It's been coffee dyed. That's all it was. It was the bottom piece of a trim. The niece trim. When I. Gosh, I got. Look, look at my pants. Disgusting. So, I am going to probably dip this in coffee because this is just too new. And I got a little cup of coffee going on here. So, we're going to dip that there so that. See, I got some goodies in here, guys. This is definitely not the cup of coffee nobody wants to drink. And I, you know, sometimes I have leftovers coffees and I don't throw it away until I figure out do I have anything that needs to be dyed? So that's where that comes from. Okay. So we can do one or two things. Um, I have a little pocket here um, that I made. It looks like a little um library pocket and I still want to make sure that I save my forever with the Lord um, and 
I want to grab some scraps of stuff. Of random stuff. And I still have some of this. And I have a piece of this, some music, so we can use that. And this is what I use for my cover. I'm looking on my desk. What do I have? What do I have? I have, I still got some of this. I'm trying to use what I have on my desk, as you can see. Again, it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned, you know. I mean, like this is off the, the pocket. And that's okay. That's perfectly okay. okay. And I know I have scraps. Let's see, I cut this off when I was cutting the pocket. So we can use that. Like so. I don't like that one. Find something else to make. Stop being so stingy. And I'm trying to somewhat, somewhat, somewhat just cover that pocket, just a little flap, flap. And I'm going to trim this one. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to use my pencil and somewhat use it as a little guide. I don't need a whole piece because I'm just going to tuck it. smaller because it doesn't have to be perfect right 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 and I want some of that stitch to show so that's good right there I think I think I think let's distress that let's distress all of this before I plug it I don't want to put it down. For some reason, like I don't like the, the the backing of the glass mat how it looks. And I got rid of my other mat, so I need to find another mat other than this glass mat. So that's why I'm not putting it down. Okay. Enough complaining. I've done enough for that. Okay. So we're going to go there and we're going to go here. And let's just stress you more. And I can go and run this through. Um, let's do. Forget, let's get these all down. I 
Now you probably say, gosh, she's so sloppy. Yes, I am. I am, I am. Put that one in there. And these are just little library cards I made myself with uh, cardstock and sewed around. Not very hard to do. Uh, let's use my brayer. Nice and smushed. Again, I have found something else on my desk that we can throw there. And uh, it's this little, I don't know, card. It's like, what's at your desk? What's on your desk? Let's clear what's on your desk. Use what's on your desk. Well, yes, I'm going to do that. If I had my little stapler, I would probably staple that. Here. I like that. And then I have this here again using scraps and craps. <laughs> scraps and craps. My husband would love that. Coffee dye. Let me use my Tim Holtz. Scraps. Scraps and craps. Scraps and craps, huh? Okay, enough joking. All right. I, if I had a stapler and I have one probably downstairs in a garage, not up here, um, I would definitely staple that down because I think it'd look cute. Um, but I don't. So what I'm going to do is I want to take this and do a little L-shaped gluing. with the fabric tuck and that way we can tuck something behind there and once it dries up I'm going to go and do a little rammed and stitch um, let me see let's see okay so we're back I ended up doing the stitch here of the L I also attached this little number here that's from Tsunami Rose and I made a little pocket. The Wallflower Tim Holtz collection has these little six by six. So they had the smaller version of this. I cut that out, made um, an additional cut up here and scored it and made a little pot, a little fold card, added one of Tim Holtz dolls. They're stitched around it, add this little butterfly. So if you wanted to attach another ephemera in the back, you can. And then that will be right in here, just like so. And I thought it was cute with his hands, little hands sticking out like that. So it kind of looks like he's holding on or peeking out when you see that, isn't that cute? Anyway, <laughs> I thought that was cute. So then I got this button. And again, I have some little pieces of twine that's kind of sticking out and I like that look so it's entirely up to you how you do it but I like my little twine looking funky because you guys know I like funky so put it right smack some what's in the middle that way you can just kind of do that and then um I have a little piece of crocheted leftover something and I found some more little Tim Holtz dolls and I thought, okay, since we have a theme of a little boy, we can put a little boy there. And you can um, kind of tuck them in because I left that open and you can tuck something in there as well. Or I had her, originally I liked her, but she's a little too big. See what I mean? She's like 
mommy dearest and little boy like she's he's hiding from mommy you know I don't know I thought she would have been perfect unless I bring her down just a tad bit and we can do that remember we want to leave forever with the Lord I think that I think that'll do and then she's kind of put her arm in there that way you can still tuck something in there if you wanted to use this as an example so if I wanted to tuck something there I could you know and you know it goes great as a layering effect um, so I think I like that I actually think I'd pick some other ones out but I like the mommy and the, the baby um, little boys hiding from mommy pain peekaboo and mommy's looking for him so I think we're gonna go with that look guys I'm gonna make her a little bit more vintage because she is just too plain to block and Let's bring her down a tad bit. Looks like so. I think she'll be perfect there. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and use um, that piece of chipboard here because I like using my chipboard pieces that I have um, to give it a 3D dimension. Yeah, I think that would be great. For the 3D dimension. And I like using scraps of chipboard for this kind of stuff. It's perfect for this kind of stuff. Let's figure where this will go. That'll be going right there so we're not getting her in the way of there. There. Perfect. That way, if we wanted, we can still tuck something in here, like a little memo note, and I might just do something like that. And then um, you can tuck more. It, the more space. And look, I have all these threads, and I love that, guys. That is so awesome. But, you know, one thing we do we need to do, this is too new. We need to distress that. So let's go ahead and grab this. Tim Holtz Vintage Photos, and that's this blend some stuff in here to make it a little bit more old and aged we can also take um, some gesso and let's apply some gesso while we're at it and my paintbrushes are fairly I like using a really stiff paintbrush And I'm going to wipe out some of that. And that's good there. I know. I was going to say, what is she doing? She's ruining that. No. It's just, it is what it is. Art is, uh, I mean, art is the eye of the beholder. And I like this kind of stuff like this. And then I can come in okay. and that can go right there. And see it gives it a little bit of a look there and I can probably use one of these from a collection that Young Sue gave me and I can do the edging and I like this one I like this one so I'm gonna go with that one and I'm just gonna go right smack in there It's like an old ledger type thing. It looks like an old ledger type thing. I'm not too concerned on whether or not it's going to be perfect.
Okay, so I'm going to wipe my sponge here. Oops. Anyways, I'm doing really good at cleaning up after myself. But let me tell you, I make some serious messes when I'm crafting, and that kind of wants to tell you, why are you crafting? You're going to be making a mess, and then you're going to be complaining that you got to clean the mess. So, it's like, ah. Uh... Okay, so... I thought that this little special delivery from Tim Holtz collection, again, these are ones that Young Sue gifted me. Um, I like the airmail. I thought I used that. And I guess I could use my stamp pad. Let me get my my little ball. Airmail, yeah. Yeah, baby. I like that. Okay. So that is that, and these are really nice ones that Young Sue gave me, so I like those. I like Tim Holtz stuff. Okay, so this can go back in here, just like so, and we got this, that's going to go there. I'm going to go ahead and distress this just a tan bit. More. Okay. Cover that baby up because I know Miss Penny's probably looking and she's probably over there scolding me. And I don't want her to scold me. Okay, I like that. I love it. Not pretty. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna glue this baby down. Again, I'm just using hot glue. You're welcome to use whatever you want. I prefer hot glue. Like that. Stretch that baby out. Get all the threads out because that is so funky cool. Mm-hmm. Not quite sure why there's gum there, but. I don't know where it come from because I, I don't eat gum in here often. Must have been from whoever owned it previously. Okay. All right. So the other thing we can do, remember I said we were going to add a little trim on the top. What if, what if, wait, 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 I know, 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 I know. what did I do with it? Because I knew, I knew, I knew. Let's see, do I have enough to go around? This is just piece of muslin. Oh, I should have done that behind her. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? I could probably remove her and put it back on. I could if I wanted to. Or if I just want to be funky like that, just leave her like that. Because I am funky. Y'all know I'm funky. That kind of stuff doesn't seem to bother me as much as other things. Because it's just what it is, you know. And I like it. I like funkiness. Ah, I love it. I think I even like it like that. So let me think. Let me think. Do I want to remove her? Yeah, let's remove her. No sweat. I'll remove her. A little bit of heat. 
Four level. A little bit of heat. Or, or undo. Let's do undo. For those of you who always wonders about one undo on paper. It works great, guys. It does, it does, it does. I gotta get a new bottle. All right, so what we're gonna do, let me get a bigger, a bigger one of these, and I have a big old box of these that I have. I like to do it in um, batches, like I sit there and I do one an entire day. See, these are all my muslin. Um, one day of this and one day of that and see I even have this one and so this one's thin enough that I can go around and it's not going to be such a big huge bother and I got that one and I might 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 want something like that for the top as well so let's see that one let's do See, because this is like you tear it apart, pieces of muslin, and it did about a half, no, about a, an inch of muslin, right? And then um, after I did my inch of muslin, I tore it up, right? Cut a slit, yanked it up, tore it, then um, copy dyed it, and I threw it in the uh, dryer. And it got all this funkiness on it. I love funky. I love funky. Okay, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Running down the street, singing do a dee 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 dum dee dee do. See, I like that funkiness. And that's just that's just me, my personal preference. You don't have to do it this way, but that's just me, my personal personal absolute pre preference. Um. So we're going to go with that because I am okay with that. And I need more glue. Okay, so there is that. And that darling. I say it is. I say it is. And see all those strands just gives us such beautiful character. And now we're going to go in and we're just going to align this pocket right in there. Making sure we leave forever with the Lord. Um, Flip it carefully, align it carefully, forever with the Lord. Love it. Love it, love it. Mm, yes okay so there is that gorgeousness stuff right and then what we can do is we can put that button there because buttons make everything look pretty and then instead of that one that I love we can go with torn up muslim and we can use that to close the pocket. Now keep in mind that we're going to have an insert that's going to go inside as well and I'm actually going to make the bow on this side so that it goes on the opposite side of the other bow. And that way you don't have to untie it all the time. You can just pull it out. Okay. 
Okay. Let me put that there. I like it. I don't know about you guys, but I do. I can glue some of these little strips down. And again, all you have to do is not even bother about, you can just slip this off and then slip it back on. And then, it's almost like a little belly band. And then we can add something here. And I'm, I have this bigger button that I, I like it better than that one. This one has a, an elastic thingy on it. And I liked it. And I was trying to preserve it for something. But I don't know. I love that big old button. It's smack in the middle of there. So we're just going to have to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Because you were so pretty. I was hoping I can find something else for it, but this is perfect right here. Bye bye. You went bye bye. Okay. So we have that. Let me save that elastic because you never know. It comes in handy. That kind of stuff. We can do. I know we can do that. I know what we can do. So, unlike Tim Holtz's um, words, we can put one of Tim Holtz's little words there. Um, what we can do? Notes and salvaged. Ha! And I'm just going to go right with my. Tim Holtz. This is how I've ruined my other Tim Holtz goodies. And we can write right on that piece right there. We can put that. So it's always going to come off, of course. And then this will do the same. If you have the Tim Holtz um, crackle, you can use that here gives it a really nice crackled effect and I'm just gonna go with it this way because it is salvaged guys everything is salvaged and there it is and wow all I have to do is insert it and I used covers of a cookbook I have to find something else that I want to put in the inside I'm not sure what I'm gonna sneak in the inside but see this will slip off and you don't have to make that little knot all the time yeah and then you have that open and then you can tuck something in here with whatever whatever you know and then that like that a little boy playing peekaboo with his mommy so it looks like that Isn't that pretty I like that. I love it. Okay, so then we can just slip this in here like so. Like that. And then you have that. Pretty, huh? So that is it for this tutorial. Till next time. Bye.